Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm just going to do a quick little video today. Uh, quite a few months ago, back in February, I took two sets and put them together and made my own little mock. It was supposed to be like for a Valentine's Day box thing and I just, it was just something a little silly and, and fun to do. So, um, but I never did get around to taking it apart and it's in this box. It's kind of a mess. But you can still kind of see what it's supposed to be. Here we go. It's supposed to be the fish tank set from a while back. And then instead of having the brick built fish inside of it, I put my own fish, uh, like aquarium inside of it. And then uh, this was a gift of purchase set that I put up here on top. So, real quick, we have a giant shark. A little shark, there's an octopus back there, dolphin, stingray, I think there's some tiny fish in here, there's some turtles, um, and there's a diver going after some treasure, and then there is a hole for the shark's mouth right there, and then this little side build, and then there is the pirate going after the treasure. So this is just like a simple little thing I randomly threw together, it's basically exactly two sets, one built on top of each other, and because I didn't have a whole bunch of uh, clear plate, I just put cling wrap all the way around this, um, so it looks really weird, but it did pretty good, and I actually did get first in um, like one of the little side things, so it was pretty cool, and I enjoyed the build, and I still think it looks really cool. I wouldn't mind keeping this. But for right now, I think I'm going to take it apart, and then maybe someday I will redo this down here and just reamp it and add different wildlife. Like, I would say I could put the orca in here. It might be a little bit big. I need actually size comparison and see if the orca is bigger than the mega shark. Anyway, so our video today is going to be taking this apart and then putting this set back together the way it's supposed to be, and this set back where it's supposed to be. So, let's get to it. separating in the two sets and then rebuilding the sets into what they're supposed to be. I probably won't keep the fish tank up for forever. I'll probably keep it up for a little bit, but then I'm probably going to pack it away. And then um, this pirate thing actually goes, displays very well next to my dad's little Lego lighthouse that I got him for Christmas. So here is the pirate theme. I think I've done a review on it before. Um, that shark rock with the small fortress on the side, the treasure chest in the middle, and then it has that, whoa dear, I just dropped him. Oops. Hold on a second. I'll get it. I'm going to do it. Goodness graciousness. Okay. <sighs> that... Apparently I'm all thumbs today. And then it comes with this little pirate guy on his raft. So I'm going to put that back onto display where I had it before I had taken it apart. And then here is the fish tank. I don't know if I've done a review on this before or not. But there's a fish tank that came out a while back. I like it. Uh, looks very cool. Kind of wish there was glass, like panels here, to actually have, because you could stick your hand all the way through here. And which I mean is good for like placing these or whatever, but it would look cool if it was the clear like glass panels. 
Um, and then the fish in here are not like molded fish. They're all brick built. So it's a brick built like Nemo character basically. They're all basically characters from Nemo, I just realized. Yeah, because then we have him down there. Bubbles. Uh, Dory over here. And then I forgot what his name is in there. And then we have this little submarine thing that has a uh, a jewel on it right there. And then a bunch of brick built like different types of coral and things that will be found in the the salt water tank. Um, so I really like it. I enjoy it. I think it is very cool. As I said, I do wish that there was glass panels here. It would also make it like a little bit more structurally sound because right now this entire top right here is being held on by four little clips. That's all this top part is being held on by. So it would make it more stable if it was glass all the way around. But it's a very good set. This is a three-in-one set. I think the, the one of the other ones makes like a painting of like a parrot. I don't remember what the other one makes because I, I mainly got it for the fish tank aspect of it. So that is the two sets that I uh, got uh, that I used to make a mock and then I used uh, this little diver guy in this poly bag uh, in here for that mock as well as the stingway from it. And the coral that comes in it, I think, is really cool, so I'd also add it to it. So now that is all back together. And then the uh, other animals, since I have them here, so you can look at them. The other animals I had in the tank. I had a little yellow crab. I had a friend's dolphin one, kind of. It's kind of hard to focus. Hold on, let me do, let me do it this way. Maybe it'll. Oh, they're actually both friend's dolphins. I thought one was the regular one. They're both friend's dolphins. I think at the time that's all I had. I don't think I had any regular ones. And there are two of these uh, turtles. These are the friend's turtles, because I didn't have the other turtles at the time yet. And then there was a regular gray shark with the uh, printed eyes on there. It'll focus. I don't know if it will. There we go. Kind of. You can see right there. And then the piece to resistance in the entire piece was, of course, the mega, the mega shark that can fit a whole minifigure in its mouth, just like... I love this shark. So good. Um, oh, I just I forgot. There was also an a uh, octopus squid. Is it a squid or is it an octopus? Whatever this creature is, that now I f don't remember what it is. I think it's technically a squid. Two, three. It might be an octopus. Could be either one. I don't, either way, I have several of these. Um, so. I forgot he was in there too. But so I also had this was the main focus point. And I had a I wanted to see how it compared to the orca. So I pulled out the orca from my animal drawer. So let's compare sizes. Here we go. So right now the orca's gonna be a lot longer. Let's see here. Um Orca looks like it's a little bit taller. It's just a smidge taller, it looks like. It is also... It's, it's longer by like a little bit. Just like mainly like the tail length is longer. Uh, the, meg uh, the orca can't put... You can't put anything in its mouth because that's as wide as it goes. Of course a shark you can put... Yes, I said a minifigure in its mouth. So, I was just wanting to compare that. So the orca is actually, like, a bigger than the shark. Like, you can, if you put them side by side, you can see the, sh the orca out the, the back of it. 
you wouldn't hardly be able to see the shark with the orca in front of the shark. So the orca is just a little bit bigger, but it does not hold a mini figure. I mean, it probably could if the mouth opened different, but it doesn't. And which is okay. That's perfectly fine. I know orcas have the name of being the killer whale, but that does not mean they have to be the killer whale. So that's pretty cool. I was glad I was able to compare those two. So now um, I'm going to put all of these uh, animals in with the animal drawer box. Uh, find a place to put the fish tank to let it be displayed for a little while since I took the trouble to building it back to how it's supposed to be. And then I want to go put my pirate shark cave back where it was before I had modified it. So that's all for today. As I said it's going to be a quick video because um, I'm going to be gone. Literally, I'm leaving, so didn't have that much time to do one this week. So, thank you all for stopping on by. I hope you enjoyed. Um, go build Lego. Let God, you all have a great rest of your week.